reacting to actually this is pretty long but you know what fuck it we're reacting to am i about bad boss or okay, okay. we're checking out case okay. high think it uh i don't know if he's reacting to a video or not i don't even know what's going on right now Hey yo, what's up? It's your boy. Hey, hey. get to the S to the I, and I'm out here with a Reddit video. Yes, you know what's funny? I recorded so many videos a few oh, days it's a ago Reddit video. Uh, <laughs> for this channel. None of them are usable because the audio wasn't recording. Woo! Yes, great success. It is what it is. Technical difficulties happen, and uh, yeah, you just missed out on content I recorded and no one will ever see except Mo. <laughs> Well. Anyway, today we're doing a Reddit. Uh, obviously, your boy's got a fight against Dylan Dennis. Still no, Dennis. we'll watch it either way. <laughs> January we'll 14th watch. at Wembley Arena. It's all going down. And best believe that card's going to be stacked. I know what the card is already. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people excited. I'm just saying, maybe. Woo! But yeah, you already know how Misfits get down. Misfits 1, Misfits 2, Misfits 3. We're coming through with bangers. So best believe Misfits 4 is going to be even better ladies and gentlemen anyway let's see what the reddit is saying nah this is a violation oh yes me and me and dildo dennis were going back and forth uh yeah that, that was crazy <laughs> talking about each other's mom so yeah i put an instagram story saying uh really hope your mom is at the fight at dildo dennis with love eyes obviously i put a picture Did you say dildo, dildo dennis? dennis's mom because she looks like a lovely person and i think it'd be great to have her front row seeing her son a ring girl. beat the fuck up. <laughs> and it's also great for me to look at as well. And then uh, he replied with, uh, I really hope your mom isn't at the fight with an old picture of her. I mean, look, my mom's glowed up tremendously. She's lost a bit of weight and uh, she looks phenomenal. So yes, she's going to be at the fight, Dildo Dennis. And best believe she's going to see me absolutely knock you out clean. And it's going to be great. <laughs> I am the nightmare. K. S. I. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> it's so funny. I've seen so many memes of that. I don't even think it was that cringe. But <laughs> either Can't way. Uh, Can't. Can't. Yeah. Look, you can call me cringe. It wasn't bad like, enough that I had to I look away. Fucking beat people, no, hey. like. <laughs> no one really wants to call me out. Because they know I fucked them up. <laughs> the last person you want to fight. Is someone who's big, strong has power in the hand, and also just has incredible cardio. Relentless beatings, round after round. Like, and you're just there like, when's this brother gonna just relax or slow down? And then if anything, he gets faster <laughs> as the rounds go on. Like with Misfits 1, when I had to fight two people in one night. Did I look tired at any point? <laughs> Did I look tired at any point? I was chasing down my opponent and I wasn't tired, but I wasn't thinking, oh man, oh, I need to slow down a little bit, man. My lungs are starting to really feel it. No, nope, I was just, <laughs> I need the knockout. I need the knockout. I have three rounds. I need the knockout. I need the knockout. <laughs> like if I had six rounds and I would have, you know, maybe paced myself, maybe enjoyed my time a little bit. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Da -da, little one, two here and there. Showed a little bit of skill. Da -da -da -da. I had three rounds. I was like, all right, now nah, I got to put these motherfuckers away real quick. <laughs> what would they be called? Oh, that's a fucking hard picture, you know. Ooh, that's a hard picture, you know. Oh, shit. Oi, I want to hear the album. <laughs> I want to hear that. I'm called Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack. Uh, Silk Sonic. Wait, wait, so we got two black people, an Indian, then. A white guy. Milk tonic? Oh, I don't know. That's... <laughs> I guess kind of what? I'm sure the Reddit is going to come up with better names. Django Rechained. If you could have your own Amazon store making thousands of dollars a day, and you didn't even have to... Hmm. Not where I was going, but okay. All right. Uh, Neaky Blinders. Okay. All right. This is actually hard as fuck. Thank you. What the hell? <laughs> Peaky oh, somebody Blinders. agrees. The Intercontinental Trader Syndicate. Nah, bro. Nah, that's getting down. You know what? I'm marking that as spam. Let's talk about it. Okay, I'm guessing we're talking about this Instagram picture of mine that banged. Can I say, ladies and gentlemen? For those of you that didn't see, let's go onto my Instagram real quick. This photo banged. 1.2 million likes, bro. 1.2 million likes. Now, compare it to the. Photo I did a few days before, 198,000 likes. Clearly, Instagram loved that picture. <laughs> Instagram fucking jizzed all over it. I'm ready for mm. what you lot are about to say. Obviously, the Reddit's gonna hate on it. I already know, but I'm intrigued. 
Man looks like he owns four plantations. Okay. <laughs> Brings a whole new meaning to the night. <laughs> KKKSI. Wow. Wow. Damn. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, not going to lie. He's looking hella good. Oh. 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 Why, thank you. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it'd be, you know. I'll take, look, I'll take it. I was getting ready to get flamed, but I guess it's hard to flame a guy in a, in a suit. That's probably why Conor McGregor always just wears a suit everywhere he goes. I asked AI to draw KSI as Goku. Oh, oh, damn, shit, boy. Don't mind if I do. Am I going to give you an award? Yeah, fuck it, I'm going to give you an award. Obviously, the AI did it, but I'm going to still give you something. Woo! What flavor could they be? Love my ass off deal. You're not winning though. Oh yeah, Logan put, hey KSI, if USA wins today, we get an exclusive flavor of Prime. If UK wins, y'all get an exclusive flavor of Prime. Deal? And then obviously USA versus England. Hella boring, a draw, nil-nil, nothing fucking happened basically. <laughs> so we decided to just have an exclusive flavor for each the UK and the US. But what flavor could it be? Ooh, I wonder. I drew KSI, it's my masterpiece. You really, uh, really put time and effort yeah. into my lips, didn't you? My lips, my big old juicy lips. And the forehead, obviously, of course. <sighs> Ethan didn't miss out of the experience. Fucking hell, fair play, guys. <laughs> Fair fucking play. You don't miss anything. Obviously, Ethan wanted to go. Uh, so we thought we'd edit him out of the video. So it looked like he wasn't there. As you can see, uh, that is indeed Ethan. So proud of Logan and JJ getting their own action figures. Damn. <sighs> Dickheads. <laughs> Dickheads. You don't think you're funny today. You don't think you're funny today. Very okay. funny. Hilarious, actually. Okay. Wow. I'm recovering from back surgery and Pewds videos and KSI's videos have really helped me. Just want to say this. Aw. My G. Oh, bro. Well, I hope you have a good, successful recovery. Hope your back is back to, back to normal. If not better than it was before. What's his catchphrase? Best answer gets silver. Okay. Allow it, champ. <laughs> Let's go rehab. Mm. <laughs> mm. Are you dumb, champ? That was kind of, that was kind of funny. That, that humored me. I wonder what JJ thinks about this video. Why KSI is bad at boxing? Uh, all right, then. Let's see this. I love how the video underneath it is. Here's why KSI is now the greatest boxer ever. Has, like, no views. But any video with people saying that my boxing is shit, views. Nine minutes. Hi, right, this might be a short Reddit video. This might have to take it up. All right, here's what it is. Let's go. Despite the status of the founder of YouTube Boxing, uh -huh. a record without losses and an impressive two knockouts in one night. Thank you. KSI is a bad, bad, to the bad best mediocre boxer. Oh, wow. Why? You need to understand that boxing consists of three equally important aspects. Okay. Athleticism, okay. character, okay. and technique. Okay. Let's start with the last one. Technique. I love how he picked the yeah. last one because <laughs> that is what yeah. people arguably say I'm the worst at. But then my character is great and then my athleticism is great. But no, you I didn't get to see like much of his technique though. Is what it is. Let's go. So. <laughs> You'll be surprised now. But JJ's arsenal consists of one punch. Yes, you what? heard right. What? To be more precise, one punch and- Let me guess, the overhand. I've done so many different types of punches. Look at the Joella fight. The Logan fight, yes, I threw overhands all the time, but I jabbed. And then with Panetta and Swarms, you know, I did a right to the body. I, you know, I did a few uppercuts, you know, Three right hands, jabbed. Come on, man. What do you mean one punch? One punch and two feints. That's it. Now, let's take That's a closer it. look. The main weapon of KSI is the right overhand. I do love overhand. It's a fast, yeah. powerful, and whipping punch. JJ has learned to throw this punch perfectly. The overhand equally powerful moving forward, backward, or standing look, still. Look back, my overhand is so telegraphed. <laughs> It is so, you can see that it's coming from a mile away. <laughs> yeah. That's why everyone's like, ah! <laughs> Being a fighter of one punch is difficult. 
and it's even more difficult when this blow is overhand. This attack cannot just be thrown openly, it must be masked. For that, KSI has two feints. Uh -huh. One is a turn of the shoulder to the inside, so he convinces the opponent that he'll throw a jab or left hook. Okay. Because of this, the enemy turns his head in the opposite direction, mm. or shifts directly towards the overhand. Okay. Therefore, JJ's rivals <laughs> often look at him with a surprised <laughs> face when they get hit with the overhand. Okay. This blow is often a painful surprise for them. But when the opponent gets used to such a sweeping feint, KSI has a more modest option. Ooh. Two is the front arm twitching. With this movement, he measures the distance and throws the feint as he's getting ready to throw the jab. Okay, okay. The more he does this, Ooh. the opponent feels more tense. Mm. Sometimes twitching his hand just stops the opponent. Then JJ throws the overhand. Okay. However, the second feint has a serious problem. KSI uses it so often that it's become a bad habit. In okay. 9 out of 10 cases of throwing out an overhand, he jerks his front hand a little before that. And these are cases when the feints are not needed. He is just used to pulling the lead hand and then throwing the overhand. Bro, it's learning shit from this dude. He's like, hey, I didn't know that about myself. At least I'm learning shit. Such a mistaken technique can be found even among professionals. For example, UFC fighter Nasrat Hakparast has the same problem. He constantly lowers one hand before hitting with the other. When I said um, I'm telegraphed, I think with the overhand, yes, I can be quite telegraphed. I, I don't understand why everyone's expecting a masterpiece from me. Maybe because I always, I go on KSI, da, 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 da. <laughs> I can be telegraphed, but if you know it's coming, doesn't mean you can stop it. For a long time, no one even noticed this mistake. But when the time came for top-level opponents, his jaw had to pay for that mistake. So, if you have a skirmish with KSI, uh -huh. know that if he pulls his front arm, then he's going to throw overhand. If I'm gonna do that, you're instantly thinking, okay, he's throwing an overhand. But then, if I just do that, then I, then I fucked you. <laughs> like, oh, okay, well, you were expecting overhand, so you're coming through like that. And I just uppercutted you. I can use this to my favor. <laughs> use this to my advantage. JJ has another unique feature. Okay. He often throws two or even three blows with one hand. This is really okay. unique because no one throws three overhands in a row. It's very dangerous. <laughs> There's a reason why all the pros only double the jab. Uh, no, 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 and no, the no, rest. No. Please don't base my boxing skill. <laughs> On swarms, bro. Come on, swarms was nothing. Like even with Panetta, like then you see my form with Panetta. I was nice and tight, and then once I realized, oh, he's not a threat. I just walked him down. Like, yeah, but you don't want to do that. <laughs> That's oh bad. My God. People are like, oh, you got hit by swarms. That means you're bad. <laughs> Double the jab, and the rest of the punches are thrown in order. Right. Like, left, even though that punch right was left, really or vice weird. versa, because that's so a textbook hit. way to throw combinations. Overhand spam from KSI feels like something fresh and catches the opponent off guard. Simply, no one expects such a brazen and irresponsible infliction of the same blow. There's only one example of a fighter at a relatively high level who uses one punch. I didn't even notice that I used my my the same hand for like. Now you know. Shorts. I don't even do that in sparring. Simply, no one expects such a brazen and irresponsible infliction of the same blow. Yeah, look, There's right? only one example oh of a fighter at a relatively right. high level. I think it's because his, his right hand is his power hand, right? That's why the overhand he uses is a lot. And also, uh, because it's his stronger hand, he wants to inflate most, the more damage he can. So he just swings with his right. Because he's not ambidextrous, right? Punch spam. Damn, this is I, the former oh, UFC oh, chief. Why don't I do that in sparring? Yeah, what the hell? That's yeah, no one expects that. No one, everyone always goes up, up, up. So if I'm there, like, up, up, and come through with a cup, man, that's nice. What adds fuel to the fire is JJ's stance. Maybe it was because of ring rust, but his jaw was hovering in the sky and his hands were on waist just to attack. Because swarms wasn't a threat, bro. Like, what the hell? Do you want me to but it's a one more match. So What's the point of me doing this 
to swarms who's running around. Every time he entered close range, he put himself at great risk. A fighter who's able nah, to hit so while moving back. My skill here was bold. <laughs> I shouldn't have beaten Logan. Everything was against me. <laughs> Logan had the technique. He had the skill. You know, he had good stamina. He had everything. It was in his, in his country. Everything was there for him to beat me. And I went against the odds and beat him. My boxing skill wasn't good. I know that, especially in this fight. Backwards would at least knock him down. Such a stance can be forgiven when the fighter has a good footwork and knows how to be ring general. However, KSI, who takes pride in the fact that he's ready for a dogfight and likes to pressure, does not do it skillfully. He pursues the opponent, runs after him. That is, he's the wingman despite the fact that he's pressing. This running around the ring makes you predictable and gives your opponent the opportunity to manipulate you. Well, okay, no, I've actually improved on this. So yes, a lot of people were like, oh, you just chase your opponent around the ring. Well, I've gone, okay, calm. And then I've used that. And now I just track them more, you know, I'm able to track better. If I'm able to push people back all the time, isn't that a dub anyway? <laughs> if no one can push me back, if I'm able to always fight on the front foot, isn't that a fucking W anyway? <laughs> Jay should not chase the victim, but cut the ring. That is, cut the trajectory of the opponent's movement. Yeah, yeah. If the opponent no, likes no, to move I, to I the have, left. I have improved on this. I have improved on this. This is definitely something I took from the fight and gone, okay, I need to do better at this. JJ is in great shape. Visually, he mm -hmm. looks intimidating. And cardio has never been a problem for never him. Never been a problem. However, in order to clearly understand the situation, we need to divide all YouTube boxers into three levels. Okay. Level one, all YouTubers who took part in the very first events. Okay. Basically, these are guys far from sports who dared to try themselves in boxing. Okay. KSI, Gib, and others. Level two, these are influencers with a sports background. They took note of the experience of the previous generation and added their athleticism to this. Okay. The Paul brothers, FaZe Sensei, Josh McBroom, Brother. and others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Level three, this is the newest type of YouTube boxer. Many of them have serious experience in martial arts. Oh, okay. Anthony Taylor, Tommy Fury, FaZe Jarvis, Salt Poppy, and others. Okay. As you can see, KSI is a real dinosaur in the world of <laughs> He needs to constantly evolve to match yeah. the level of opposition. Okay. From a skinny, fat gamer, he uh -huh. turned into a guy with a good physique. But okay. muscle doesn't mean athleticism. Mm. JJ objectively doesn't have athletic talents. His coordination, uh, yeah, explosive that. speed, and plasticity are worse than Logan Paul, or even if you compare him with... I have explosiveness. I'm not that elastic. I don't try to... Or well, I don't try to be elastic, but I could try it, and I probably might be able to do it. His brother, honor. in terms of athleticism, he's inferior to him. Okay. Yeah, he's always so said he that, comes though. out to every fight with a belly. He's always no, no, said I that. I do agree with that. Yeah, I, he's always said what? that. That's a point I do agree with. I wasn't naturally born with great, <laughs> great genes. <laughs> I've had to work to get to this point. I That's got I this. I, I'm very You don't quick. have to be born with it. You, you just need to work hard and you can get anything you want. So yes, I do agree with this. But the smoothness of his movements yeah, and the yeah. speed of his attacks are on a different level. Oh, how many times have I said if Digi had my work rate and discipline? Fucking hell, bro. He would be unreal. <laughs> like he would be top level. No one would be able to touch him. <laughs> The character of KSI and the desire to work hard close these shortcomings. Okay. Thanks to which he managed to defeat Logan Paul, Man. who surpasses KSI in everything. everything. Yeah. <laughs> this is the beauty of boxing. Okay. This sport consists not only of technique and athleticism, mm. it also needs to take into account the character. This is the main weapon of JJ. Okay. He's like the Diaz brothers or Evander Holyfield always in the game and can shock the world against <laughs> any opponent now nah, you know what that was a good video yeah, yeah it was no, yeah, yeah it was. Why not? let's open my eyes and 
a few ways. The odds are stacked against me tremendously all the time, but I still find a way to win. I love how now people are like, yeah, KSI is going to destroy Dylan Dennis. I was like, bro, this has never happened before. <laughs> I've never been in a situation where people now think, yeah, he's actually going to do well. Oh, yeah, he's going to win. Yeah, he's, he's done it. But I feel like now I've proven so many people wrong to the point where now people believe me. <laughs> people believe in me and go, yeah, you know what? KSI is that guy. <laughs> so yeah, am I a bad boxer? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I am. You know what? Maybe I'm a bad boxer. But will I win? Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can be a badass boxer and still win. Hey, that's me, people. <laughs> I made KSI get hyper. Wait, what? <laughs> what am I doing? What is it? Alright, this has been in one case. I I will see you lot in a bit. <laughs> no, that was very that was very I like that video actually. I like that video because he he was like he was explaining the downsides and everything about KSI and how he okay, fights and okay. shit. Let's see what the comments do. Fair play to JJ for listening to actual content the criticism and taking notes of it now a lot of people yeah because uh, construction constructive criticism always take that always take that no matter what but if it's just some like dumb hating then sure just forget about it uh you still delusional about a lot of things nah man after i can i go hey, what they uh what i'm glad he he got insight into this finally. His ability to respond to constructive criticism is why he keeps getting better along the way. Along with his work ethic, I hope to be an actual good boxer soon. Yeah, but it makes sense though. Right? For you to grow, you gotta have, you gotta be able to take criticism, right? So yeah, subscribe, subscribe, JJ, you like both our shits. And let me know how you guys feel about this. I don't know why it's number nine on gaming when he was, it, was, it has nothing to do with the gaming view, but neither here nor there. And bye.